You would think that August is the time when almost everyone wants to leave the country, for summer vacation or for whatever reason. But August in Kosovo is the time when almost everyone wants to migrate to Prizren, the southern medieval town of Kosovo, because August is Dokufest time. The festival of documentaries started with the initial idea just to save an old open concept cinema. Due to hard work, Dokufest now has gained worldwide reputation as one of the best documentary film festivals in the world. In the moment in which I didn't have ideas for organizing the festival, cinema in Prizren look functional. Since then, Dokufest and Prizren have come a long way. From a town with no public space to watch films, now the whole town itself is considered a giant cinema. The first year, Dokufest screened 13 documentaries only. 14 years later, nine cinemas of Dokufest showed 228 films. One thing they already achieved is to make the whole event very relaxed, where quite easily you can run into a director or an actor while enjoying a cold beer along River Bistrica, right next to some of the oldest religious and historical sites of Prizren. I've been to quite a few film festivals, but this, without doubt, is one of my favourite ones. I just love how relaxed the atmosphere is. It's the fact it's set all over the town, but brings all the town together. Um, all the different cultures, it's just the, the attitude and the approach to it is just fantastic. It's one of the best festivals you can be at. Petret, the British director came to Kosovo to present his short film called Shock, or Friend in Albanian, the first Kosovo-British production ever. The short is a mixture of three true stories about two young Kosovo-Albanian boys growing up in the late 90s. Donahue can't give away any more from the story because Shock has a chance to get an Oscar nomination. Workshops and panel discussions are organized on various topics such as this one, talking about media's role in fighting corruption inside this medieval hammam, or on migration, which is also the key theme of this year's Dokufest. Dokufest, in fact, in the vite of fundit nuk është vetëm një festival i filmit, po është një organizat që meret me, me trajnim, me kultur, me, sidomos, me trajnim në, në fushën e filmi dokumentar dhe aty kemi gjet për kraj e si nëmos nga zyra e bashkimit e Europian, sepse ata e ka njoft, nëse mund të quaj, kështu vizionin e, e shëndrimit të doku festit, jo vetëm në festival, po edhe në një organizat që mund të avancoj në fushën e edukimit dhe trajnimit. Doku fest and prizren are also an example of true and honest cooperation between people of different cultures and ethnic backgrounds. A short visit at the Dokufest headquarters and you see people interacting in several languages in the most natural way. And it's only natural that a film festival ends with the announcement of who was better this year on documentary filmmaking. The list of winners includes filmmakers from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Denmark, Britain, United States of America and other countries. Believe me, this is one of the great festivals of the world. And so Dokufest came to an end, keeping us waiting for another year when we will not only enjoy the magic of filmmaking again, but also the time when Prizren becomes the place to be.